Welcome to Michelle's Storytime. I am Michelle and I am excited to read. What Would Danny Do? School Day by Ganit and Adir Levy, illustrated by Matt Sadler. And there are eight stories in one. What would Danny do school day? And before I start reading, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also like this video. What would Danny do school day? Hi! My name is Danny, and I'm a superhero in training. I have lots of cool superpowers. I can make myself invisible. I'm super strong. I have x-ray vision. And even though learning how to fly is harder than I thought it would be, I'm not giving up anytime soon. I've been testing a superpower called the power to choose at home. And today I'm going to practice using it at school. With this superpower, I can change my day by changing my choices. Today is a special day because you'll be making choices for me. When you reach an ending, you can start over and change your choices. Then we'll see how powerful the power to choose really is. Ready? Let's go! Oh no! This morning I was caught by the evil Dr. Ninjaro. But have no fear. After a hundred thousand minutes, I'm finally on the brink of escaping. His laser beam dungeon is no match for me. Danny, it's time to get ready for school. Mommy calls out. Oh man. I'm busy trying to escape from Dr. Ninjaro. If I stop now, I may never get out. What should Danny do? Should he continue playing or should he stop playing and get ready for school? Well, since I have the power to choose, I choose continue playing. So now I will go to page 20 and see what happens when he continues playing. So let's go to page 20. There's no way I'll let Dr. Ninjaro beat me. I find my way through the laser beams and finally reach the ladder to the secret escape hatch. Just then, Mommy calls out. Three minutes till the bus is here. Three minutes, oh man. Dr. Ninjaro had me tangled in a time warp. I hurry to get dressed, but finding my other shoe takes forever. Then 
I remember that today is show and tell. I quickly grabbed Webster, my tarantula, and put him in my backpack. I run outside, but I'm too late. Daddy takes me to school, so he'll be late to work. He doesn't seem happy about that. I finally get to school and zoom to class. I'm late, so I don't get to sit next to my best friends, Maddie and Jakey, during show and tell. I tiptoe to an empty spot and wait for my turn. Finally, Miss Blakely calls me up. I reach into my backpack, but Webster isn't there. Uh-oh. I can't find Webster, I say. Is he a hamster? Miss Blakely asks. No, he's a... Just then, Maddie shrieks. I zoom to grab Webster, but Maddie is still mad. How could you let him loose? Maddie asks. It was an accident. I know it was an accident, Miss Blakely says, but you'll have to be more responsible. Please find a way to keep your tarantula safe and away from others. I find what I need and build a cage, but by the time I'm done, I'm late for recess. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. The soccer game already started and that's my favorite sport. They are still picking teams for basketball, so I use my super speed to rush over there. Alexis picks me, but the teams end up so unfair. Jonah, Sarah, Mario, and Paul are all so good. I'm worried, even with my superpowers, there's no way we can win. What should Danny do? Should he leave and look for something else to play? Or should he try his best and have fun no matter what? Well, since I have the power to choose, I choose. I think he should try his best and have fun no matter what. So I will go to page 10. Let's go to page 10. We go back to page 10. I call my team together. I know they're good, I say, but if we try our best, we can win. <laughs> we start playing and the game is super close. With less than a minute left, we're down by four points. I get the ball and use my super speed to run to the hoop. I jump super high and score. Yes! Now we're down by just two points. Jonah takes the ball out, but Alexis steals it. She passes the ball to me. Hurry, Danny! She yells. There isn't much time left. I dribble straight to the three-point line and throw the ball up towards the basket. If I make this shot, We'll win the game. The bell rings as the ball flies through the air. Everyone watches and holds their breath. 
The ball rolls around the rim, but flies out. Oh, man. So close. Jonah breathes a sigh of relief as we walk to the class. <sighs> you play great, Danny, he says. I didn't think your team had a chance, but you almost won at the buzzer. Thanks, I say. I'm happy I decided to play instead of give up. In class, Miss Blakely is teaching us how to use a number line in math. I don't like standing in line to go to recess, so I don't understand why numbers need to stand in line either. This is confusing. Does anyone have any questions? She asks. I look around. And it seems like everyone else understands. <laughs> if I raise my hand, my friends might laugh at me. I'm not a clown. I'm a superhero. What should Danny do? Should he raise his hand to ask a question? Or should he not raise his hand? Well, since I have the power to choose, I choose. I think he should not raise his hand. So let's go to page 46. Going to page 46. And let's see what happens next. I don't raise my hand and neither does anyone else. Okay, she says. Please turn in your worksheets when you're done. Uh oh, this is confusing. I don't know where to start. Which numbers do I put on the line and how? I try to use my super focus, but it isn't helping. Just then, an idea pops into my head. I use my x-ray vision to look at Mario's paper. <laughs> Is that a good idea to look at Mario's paper? Please keep your eyes on your own paper. Miss Blakely announces, Oh, man. How'd she know? After a few minutes, the class starts turning in their worksheets. Miss Blakely looks at my sheet and asks me why it's blank. I use invisible ink, I say. Miss Blakely doesn't laugh at my joke. Danny? If you don't know how to do something, you should always ask. She says, I'm going to write your parents a note and send some worksheets home with you so that you don't fall further behind. When I get home, I show mommy the note. Some of the words, world's smartest people ask the most questions. She says to me, you should never be embarrassed that you're trying to learn something. I turn on my super focus and mommy shows me how to use a number line. Now I have to do the worksheets. If I would have asked Miss Blakely the, that question in class, I think it would have saved me a lot of time. I have the perfect idea. I turn my math worksheet over and draw a picture of Mad Maddie. 
I show it to her, but she starts crying and takes it straight to Miss Blakely. Uh-oh. Who drew this? She demands. Danny, Maddie says, still crying. <laughs> Danny, you need to stay in and see me after school, Miss Blakely says. Oh, no. Now I'm in serious trouble. Oh, no, Danny. Later at lunch, Jakey and Maddie are mad at me. So I just sit alone. After I finish eating, Mario crashes right into me. His chocolate pudding spills all over my shirt. What should Danny do? Should he wash the pudding off? Or should he yell at Mario? Well, since I have the power to choose, I think he should yell at Mario. So let's go to page 60 and find out what happens when he yells at Mario. Page 60. Watch where you're going, meanie, I yell. Mario sneers. At least I don't have mud all over my shirt. I'm so mad I throw the rest of my lunch at him. He throws his lunch back at me. Uh -oh. We get sent to the principal's office and I have to go in first. Do you know why you're here, Danny? Mr. Kimball asked. I've had a terrible day, I say. Do you know why your day was so terrible? I made a lot of poor choices. <laughs> I start to cry. <laughs> I have to call your parents and ask them to pick you up, he says. I cry even louder. <laughs> While I'm waiting for mommy, Mr. Kimball says, no matter what is happening to you, how you react is always a choice you make. If you use your power to choose wisely tomorrow, I'm sure you'll have a much better day. And I think that's the end. That was the end of number two. Okay, so so that was the end of number two. And I will see you next time when I read more of what should Danny do school day. And of course, thank you for listening. And remember to like this video and subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And also remember to come back to see and hear what Danny will do school day next time. Thank you again for listening. And I, of course, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.